A few weeks ago I talked about a problem I was having with my truck where I'd be driving down the street and all of a sudden the thing would stall out and it wouldn't start up for a couple of minutes. Well one of the first things that I wondered about when that happened was am I getting a problem here where my spark plugs aren't getting any spark or is it the fuel delivery system? So the first thing I did was I came up with a system where I could monitor the high voltage going to my spark plugs while I was driving. And what I did was I took a neon light wrapped one of the wires around the outside of my spark plug wire and put the other wire to chassis ground and I was ac actually able to get enough power that way through the insulation on the wire to cause this neon light to light up. For those of you that aren't familiar with these neon lights they'll il illuminate the neon gas inside of them with very little power. So while driving down the road the vehicle finally stalled out again and I could see that when I, when I tried to start it the neon light was coming on so I determined that everything was fine with my electrical system, that it had to be something related to the fuel delivery system. Well, after looking a few things over, I found out that I had a clogged fuel filter. And I was sure that once I replaced it, that would solve the problem. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case, and the problem came back again. So I realized I'm going to have to do a little bit more troubleshooting, and I'm going to have to do so while I'm actually driving the vehicle. So while looking over the way the fuel delivery system is put together, I've come up with some more things I can monitor while I'm driving. One of them is the fuel pump motor. And I can also check the voltage going to the fuel pump or the voltage going to the fuel injectors. Now the way the system works on my truck, uh, you've got your low pressure pump that's in the gas tank and it feeds the, the uh, high pressure fuel pump, which then the pressurizes this fuel rail so these injectors can shoot gas into each one of your cylinders. So what I've come up with to monitor the system was I'm, when I'm driving is number one I've got two wires now going to the same wires that are going to my fuel pump. So while I'm driving I'm actually I've got the two wires hooked up to an LED that's actually uh, glowing as I'm driving and if for some reason my fuel pump relay doesn't allow the electricity to pass onto the fuel pump, I'll be able to see that. The second thing I've done is I've come up with this inductive probe here that I've actually fastened to my fuel pump. And this is something I've showed in some of my other videos, and it's actually a quite effective way to find out if the motor's turning. Now these things were, oh, they came out many years ago. You'd put them on your telephone, they'd pick up the electromagnetic waves. Well, they pick up electromagnetic waves off just about anything. In fact, here I've got a motor running right here. I'll show you how I'm able to move this thing near the motor. And you can hear the, the motor actually turning. And so what I actually did here now is I'm, I've hooked one of these coils to my fuel pump. And as soon as the thing starts turning, I've got this inside my cab with me. I'm actually able to hear the fact that the motor's turning. And because of the LED, I'm actually able to see if the uh, power going to the pump is there. In fact, I'm going to go outside of my car here. And I'm going to let you see what it actually looks like. So bear with me a moment here. Okay, so basically this is what you've got here inside the cab. You've got the, uh, the LED I mentioned, the audio device, and the neon light. I'm going to turn the key on. Now you just heard the thing momentarily turn on until it pressurized the fuel rail and because the guy didn't actually start the car yet, it, um, it just came on momentarily. So I'm going to go ahead and start it up. And uh, as you can see, I got my neon light going there, indicating that I am getting high voltage to my spark plugs. I'm monitoring the, um, the turning of the uh, motor, the fuel pump that is, and I'm actually able to monitor the voltage going to the fuel pump. Now they have tools that will do some of this. Some of these scanner tools will enable you to monitor certain things within your car. And uh, I don't own one of those scanner tools. And from what I understand, they won't always find the problems. So this is what I've come up with. So I'm going to be driving down for the next, or driving around rather, for the next uh, 
few hours or days, whatever it takes, and hope that this thing will act up again, and hopefully I can determine where I'm having problems. Um, it's uh, really, really frustrating when you've got an intermittent problem like this, and um, well, this is what I've come up with to try to help me analyze what I've got to replace in the vehicle. I don't want to just be a parts exchanger and start putting different components in and hope that one of them's going to fix it. But there you have it. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. And if you do, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe.